BT looked like a McDonald's french fries, right? The McDonald M. In collects know you know that. They will never give it to you like that. So VT is heart rate greater than 150 up to 400. If somebody got a heart rate, twice some, say more, 350, say more, dead, right? A normal EKG look just like this. And I put this line to the bottom for you. There, two, card. Say six. No more heart rate sixty to a hundred. So here it is. My P. My Q. My R. My S and my T, my P, my Q, my R, my S, and my T. Anytime you go to NCLEX, the first thing you're going to do when they give you an EKG, count how many, well, count the heart rate. So let's count the heart rate. 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Any questions? Inclex will not have this divider. I put it there to show you nice. Inclex will not have this. But they will have these. Tipo Pesayo. Make this, 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 this. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. The normal heart rate is 60 to 100. So if you get seven, is that heart rate good? Yes. Eight, is that heart rate good? Yes. Nine, is that heart rate good? Yes. Ten, is the heart rate good? Yes. So anytime you go to NCLEX, the first thing you go count is what? Any question? Yes, darling. You good? Yes. Okay. The second thing you're going to check is from a peak. My Q, my R, my S, and a T. Look. P, Q, P, Q, R, S, T, P, Q, R, S, T, P, Q, R, S, T, pa, pa. Kote P, Q, R, S, T, kote P, Q, R, S, T. That's none. They not stupid. They know if they give you this, you call on quick. So they don't give you this strip. They give it to you in words. Any question? Now, VT, ventricle, right? Tachycardia. Heart rate going fast. There's two types. Two types. Stable, unstable. A, stable, B, unstable. So go in the book with me. I'm on page 676F. F and then 2 and 3, 677 on the top. Everybody raise your hand when you find it. You find it? Six webs, men who are playing la, if you are being la. Everybody find it. VT, it be made in two, three. 677. No, here. Two and three. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Stay with me. Stay with me. Put your hands up if you don't find it so I can help you. 677. Okay? Maybe. We're going to say FBT. Two and three. Right. Okay, can you can see Christina 45, 23. Okay? Who raise your hand? Who don't have it? 
six seventy seven F F if you want one two three stable unstable you with me a if you don't have a book you cannot come to my class without no book no book you gotta have a book in the class right we cool. Who does not? Everybody with me. You got it? 6A, baby. Farah, Farah. Show her for me. 677F, it be 2, 3. Stable and unstable. Now, because they know you know this is bad, they will never give you this picture. Because clearly you don't see a PQRST. So you know something is wrong. What is wrong? The patient is breathing fast, really fast. Now, so stable, stable, the patient have a pulse, is going really fast, right? Stable, the patient, no signs, symptom of decreased cardiac output. Miss Sonia, what is decreased cardiac output? PP, sweat, water. So for example, if I'm under distress and they put a Foley, and in the Foley bag, my PP is low, that means I am retaining fluid and I'm going into heart failure. So decreased cardiac output is fluid, blood, urine, or sweat. You got it? So this patient, the, when you're in stable VT, the only thing happening to you, your heart rate is 300, 200. But you okay, you talking, hi, good morning. Your heart rate is going fast. Right? But remember, we cannot keep you like that. So, what must we do? Rest. Oxygen. And. And tie. This rhythmic drugs. Which drug will we give them? Norepinephrine. Epinephrine. Whatever the doctor chews. This drug is in what cart? Crash cart. Anytime I give you anti-dysrhythmic drugs, what must I monitor? Heart rate and what Respiration. else? Respiration. Output. Urine. Guys, if I give you no that, okay, you know when a bee bites someone? A bee. B.I. bite me, she, her airway closed. I give her EpiPen, shh, I should see her sweat. If she's not sweating, that means she's retaining fluid, she's going into what? Heart failure. So when you give this, you gotta check output, and what else? Heart rate. Heart rate. Any question? And this is not no PO medication, baby. IV push, oh, I am. This is trauma. Any question? Okay. Now, sometime the doctor did this for the patient. The heart rate went down a little bit, but the patient is still up. The doctor said, hey, I don't like it. The doctor may order to do something called cardioversion. Cardioversion. So, hey, listen. After doctor I do this, and it's still high, he said, hey, let me order cardioversion. But it's by choice. You understand? You got it? So cardioversion can be done for stable and unstable. En créole, qui sa cardio version na ye? C'est dit fait, y'a mette sous cœur. Yo me dit fait, 
to increase me if he fed on me, coming down. English, what they're doing, they're shocking the heart, not defibrillator. See, defibrillator is only used when there is no pulse. This person has a pulse. So the cardioversion, the fire is not as strong as what? The defibrillator. So I'm going to shock it to increase it to it so it can slow down. You got it? So don't confuse cardioversion and defibrillator. Defibrillator, the patient might get pulse at all. Here the patient got pulse, it's just what? Too fast. So I'm going to shock it to rest it. We cool? Okay. Shock it. The doctor going to shock it. But it's by choice. It is called an elective cardioversion. Meaning he order it. Any question? Now, unstable. It's unstable feet. T. That means the heart rate. Now, this heart rate is 400. Now, Let's say 350. Ooh, heart rate 350. Guys, heart rate 350. Ooh. Patient got a BP. Everything but that heart rate is still 350. When I look in the BP bag, because when these people come to the ER, I see you, they put a Foley in them. When I look in the Foley bag, the PP just went down to 30. Oh, this patient is crashing. When they say crashing, this is crashing. So not only the heart rate is up, but cardiac output is what? No. This patient is crashing. So what do you do as the nurse? Rest. O2. But be careful of that O2. Put a parenthesis on it. Because I'm going to talk about it. Okay? Anti-dysrhythmia. And you see that O2? Cough CPR. Uncle Yol, cough CPR is what. Oxygen, the bag. I'm gonna say it in English, people. Hold on. If you 100% oxygen, you only call me CPR. So you just don't give him the same oxygen. You give him what? Cough CPR. And when you're doing cough, you give him oxygen. Compression. Cough. Cough. You see that? Because his output is low. That means what's not happening. What is not, he's retaining, but something is ha not happening. Blood is not what? Circulating. That's why his PP is what? No. You got it? We're going to do that. Rest. Cough CPR. Anti this. Disrhythmic. Somebody say compression. <laughs> Somebody, I'm not going to beat you. We're going to talk about it. Okay. Compression, people mean busy. When do you compress? When there is no pulse. Unstable. Is there a pulse? Yes. Why would you go compress? You don't compress when there's a pause. Number one reason LPN lose their job, lose their license. Let me tell you. LPN found a patient unconscious. The first thing you do, by holds it, turn them off. The first thing you do, you check pause. If you check pause, the patient got a pulse, but they unconscious. Why you go do CPR, like you know what you're doing? 
you're supposed to lose that license. You're incompetent. Anytime a patient have a pulse, you don't go pay and say nothing. You just broke the lady rib. She unconscious. You're not God. That means she, she's unconscious, but she got a heart rate. You take a pillow or a book, put under her head. You go in the kitchen, right? You do like baby. You put water, sugar, make sure the sugar diluted. You take it, don't go pour nothing. Upa say milk, you take blood, and you go, and you wait for the lady. If she don't wake up, you sit right there, wait for her, wait for EMT. Or if you have oxygen, you bring the oxygen, that's it. Why you go do CPR, PC, uh, uh, the lady got calls. You supposed to lose your license. Let me tell you something. Ain't no attorney going to help you on this one. <laughs> no, baby. You cannot hire no attorney. The first thing the attorney going to say, pull your nursing 101. The patient have a pulse. You know you wasn't supposed to do compression. No, guys, you see, as long as I've been doing this, this is the number one reason students come to me and say, Miss Sonia, help me find an attorney. Baby, ain't no attorney going to touch you. Because you wrong. You wrong. You don't do compression. Let me compression, baby. This is when there is a what? Oh. You promise? Yes. Patient? Unconscious. First thing you're going to do. Pulse, okay. But me don't bear about that. That's all you could do. If there's oxygen, bring oxygen. Bingo. We're going to wait for EMT and take blood pressure. That's it. Miss Sonia, how coffee make you circulate? Huh? Coughing. You say you, the patient have to cough. How cough. Make your, your the purpose of coughing to help blood what? Circulate. Blood carry what? Oxygen. Oxygen. Yeah, that's when you use cough CPR. It's I only cough CPR. But students here say compression. That's not what the book says. You got it? There's a difference between cough, CPR, and actually CPR. Cough. Oxygen. Actual CPR is compression. Any question? Mm. So if you don't open your eyes when Pearson give you these questions, you in trouble because all you see CPR, you got to look to see if it's stable or unstable if the patient have a pulse. You got it? Okay. Mm -hmm. That's yes, the rebreather mask is what a lot of facility have is what they consider cough CPR. Hundred percent oxygen. Any question? Okay, so now so the patient has unstable, we're gonna do cardioversion. Oh bon Dieu, we use cardioversion when the patient have a pulse. Please say it people. We use cardioversion when the patient has a pulse. Stable VT, the patient have a pulse. Unstable VT, the patient have a pulse. So unstable and stable, the doctor will order what? Cardioversion. What is cardioversion? Page 678. It's a shock. Shock means effect. Right? Cardioversion can be an elective procedure. Elective procedure, the doctor ordering. Cardio, I'm on page 678. Hey, mete inclex, bokote, put inclex. Guys, say someone you a man do not fear said now. 
English. This is what the people ask you. The people don't play with you, ask you this, that. These are the big stuff. And if you don't know them, you ain't gonna get no damn license. You need to know this special RN. Come in there, my do a diet. This is what they ask you. Straight EKGs. Straight life-saving stuff. Critical thinking stuff. Blood, urine. What did I say? Blood, urine. Sweat. Okay? Ready? Let's go. It's a Listen. It's a defibrillator, but it's synchronized. Let me, you know what that synchronized mean? That a patient have a what? Pause. Pause. And guys, some facilities have one machine. The machine got cardioversion, and the machine has a defibrillator. Because nurses make so much mistake with that machine, the hospital go back two machines now. One cardioversion and one defibrillator. Because sometimes the nurses don't know which button you face it. Ooh. And yes, under trauma. And guys, listen. Anytime you see a patient fall as a nurse, why do you yell? Huh? What? What? Calm down. Pause. Yes. She alive. Why she uncultured? Hell, I don't know. You don't know. Don't yell. You cheese alive. Put something under her head. Put on there. Why? Go away. I had students fall out here. And the students just yell. Like, I say, wait a minute. Are oh, y'all nurses? And I'm calm as pulse. You got pulse, baby? Can you get a book put on her head? Let her lay right. We'll cover her. What else can you do? Okay. Go get a little sugar. It might be her sugar. That's it. Why? 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 Make this up. Make this up. For nothing. <laughs> Hell, you do more damage than help you. Yeah. And that's it. And we'll let her lay down all the way to the EMT guy come and take her to the hospital. That's their job to find out why she unconscious. Unconscious means for some reason oxygen is not going to the brain. I'm not God. How am I supposed to know why? You see? That's it. Simple, organized, no one. Right? No. Pre procedure. You need a consent. You need a consent if the doctor order it as an elective. If you come to the ER emergency, Unstable, you don't need a consent. Who did not understand that? Did you? So, unstable mean we must do this on you. Nobody is Call your version. Administer sedation. If, if it's an elective procedure, you will hold the Jackson. Doing the procedure, you make sure the skin is dry. Stop the oxygen. Make sure no one is touching the patient. And then we shock the patient. Cardioversion, we will give you 100. 100, 200 shock. Listen, anytime. And under trauma, who ordered the shock? Not, do, not nurses. Doctor. I need you to shock 300 twice. And we... Anytime we have to shock you 300, three times, you didn't make it. And sometimes we shock and the patient died. And we look down, look on the door, talking to the family. We still in there shocking. Anytime they say 300, that's fire. Sometimes if you get a bad weave in the ER, and way shock them shit. <laughs> no, y'all laughing. I'm telling you, when you shock that fire, you hear pop, 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 pop. that strong fire. I'm telling you, that's why ER nurses, you ball. I went ball, baby. Cause I'm telling you, that weed ain't right. You hear fire and no critter. 
fire, guys, go fire. One nurse is on top of the patient. I never got on top, baby. I'm too big. <laughs> One nurse on top of him at feet. Remember the doctor here calling the order? One nurse on top and one taking vitals and one pushing. You hear the doctor, lot of cane, no proliferate. You got to be quick on the order. Yeah. So it's 100 per No. Cardio version, they start with 100. Okay, yeah. Because the patient is alive. It's the defibrillator, which I'm going to go to. That's when the shock. They call it jewels. Jewels. Whoop, whoop, zee, fit. Burn. And let me tell you, you see, when this patient is skinny, then you see the fire. Man, she took a lot. You see, oh, it's a lot of work saving lives. This is trauma. No time for you to say, hey, let me go check my med search book. Oh. <laughs> right? <laughs> Any question with cardioversion, pre-post procedure, look at 4A. Oh, bon Dieu. When the patient is good, from VT, airway is good, right? And then we see PP. Shh. We see urine. Shh. And here it is. Look. You remember last week I say things go like this, guys, right? Sinus Brady, stay with me. A fib, PVC, VT, V fib, dead. Look, if you went from here, so we here, stay with me, unstable, and I go here. Is the patient getting better or worse? Better. 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 Even if I see two PVCs, but where you came from, two here, you're getting better. Mm -hmm. So when you give cardioversion, you want to see either here, you want to see from here on up. Mm -hmm. Baby, if the patient v fib, now you got to go deep. Fibrillator. That means the patient is getting worse. Yeah. So the students say, but PVC is bad too. Yes, PVC bad, but kototea. PVC is what? Bad. English, where you was, PVC is what? Bad. So the doctor go out there and say, your family member is in stable condition. They're resting, they're in stable. You're still on pied de dents, pied de they still not good, but they better. And we nurses will go, and we watch them, and this is the patient who will go to ICU. So they left the ER, they go to ICU, as they go up, then they go to the telly floor. You see that? Now, any question with VT and cardioversion? So be careful. Yes, PVC bad. I got you. Special tool bad. The two and the 20, I got that. But look where that man came from. Huh. If I'm here and I give you here, baby, I'm getting a little bit better. You know why it was bad here? A lot of you guys think it's the heart rate. <laughs> it's this. That means the body is not getting what? Oxygen. No oxygen, no life. That means blood not what? Circulating. And when blood not circulating, you're going one way, am I, to heart failure. Listen, uh, uh uh if we don't fix this, you go heart failure. We don't fix this heart failure. We don't fix this heart failure. Low 
cardiac output, retaining fluid, heart failure. Any question? In clicks. <laughs> Not this one. Yes. No, your back boss. I just told you. Your back boss. Stripla. Your back name. Stable. VT. Unstable. Oh, right when they say cardioversion. Look, when you go to Inclex, watch, and you see anything cardioversion, right there, you're going to bring me with you, not loud. You're going to say, hey, cardioversion, fundamental EKG, hey, Miss Sonia, in your mind, VT, how can you fail? How can you not answer the question on cardioversion? I told you what it is, when it's used for. Pre-op, post-op, after, what to do? How can you go and not know cardioversion? Right there when you see cardioversion, eh? It's in an EKG, who can't be? In cholesterol, you pick up. You know where I taught it to you. I don't care if they give you strip. I don't care, I don't care. Right when they say VT, you say, okay. You don't go talk, or you won't go to jail. <laughs> you don't go talk, you say, okay. It's stable, unstable. Heart rate, okay. You talking. Cardioversion. That's how you pass. But if you go, you don't go to jail. Go to jail. You're going to fail. Any question? Yes. I just did with her. I just did. They will say stable VT. They will not give you this because this is the obvious. They will say the patient has stable VT. Huh? They, ah, they, they, go, they may give you this, but add some more to it. They're going to give it to you big, and then they're going to put the ziggy ziggy line. That's what you got. I'm going to tell you what to do with that. <laughs> so that means, look, 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 look. They gave her this, and then they put the ziggy ziggy line. So is the patient getting better or worse? Ah, because it's a V fear right there. You should have know what to do. That means the patient is getting worse. We need to go get the fibrillator. But in the question, you had to read to see if the patient had pulse or no pulse. Because if there's pulse, you cannot use the fibrillator. Uh -huh. So you had to look at the question. So what she said is they gave her a script like this. Yes, of course. And then they do this. Ha, right? Easy. Easy. Come on, people. They give you this, and then they give you this. That's right there. The patient is getting what? Worse. Worse. You see, that means that patient is getting worse. Now they go, you got to look in the question to see if there's pulse. Did they say the patient had a pulse? No pulse. That means you going to defibrillate. Did you take that? Okay. Uh, what's that? See, that's what you ask for an example, just an example. Right there. Ziggy, ziggy, ziggy. That means it's getting worse. You got it? Okay, so VT, right? Now, then we're going to go to V fib. V fib. V fib is number. Um, number, well, number seven, but it's in the book. I'm trying to find the book. Um, G, 677G. V-fib is the picture in the bottom. All the way in the bottom. It's V, it's, V-fib is G, but the picture is 50-5. You see it? 50-5. You see it? The ziggy ziggy line. Right? Huh? 
Right? So English, we're going to use it as hair, braiding hair. To braid hair, you got to grab what you already have. So the Lazigi lines are pulse. If you have a V fib with a little pulse, it's little, I am going to do what first? Right? I am going to do what? Defibrate you. De uh, no, I'm not going to defibrate you. Pardon, pardon. I just, I'm going to give you oxygen. Oxygen. That's it. Oxygen. Right? I'm going to give you oxygen, and when the pulse increase, I'm going to do cardioversion. Again, if you have B fib, listen we V fib. 4523. If you have B fib with a little ziggy line, that means you got a little pulse. I cannot defibrillate you. Right? Because you got pulse. So I'm going to do oxygen and then you may get cardioversion. That's it. Okay? Because you cannot defibrillate with a patient that has a pulse. Now, V-fib is chaotic rapid rhythm. The patient is quivering, shaking, with no cardiac output. Hey, when it's quivering like this, what am I at risk for? Clots. Yes. So, client lacks pulse, BP, and respiration. If the patient has no pulse, no BP, no nothing. No nothing. With a feet fit, that's when you defibrillate. Now, turn. When you are defibrillated, no pulse, you're going to do CPR first, which is compression. Okay? And then you're going to defibrillate. Because there is no what? Pause. Defibrillation is on page 678C. You're going to put NCLEX next to that. Who don't see where I'm at? Right here. Who do not see defibrillation? So class, when are we going to defibrillate? No pulse. When are we going to do CPR with compression? No pulse. Which one you going to do first? Defibrillator or CPR? CPR. So NCLEX, as you put it in order, the students say, go get the defibrillator. No! You stay with the patient, do CPR, help! someone will bring the defibrillator. You never leave this patient alone. They ask you, put it in order. Umete, go get defibrillator machine. <laughs> CPR first. Ready? Now, to know how to do CPR, it's on page 100. I'll show you. You need to know how to do CPR on Infants, on children, and adult. That is memorization. That is a skill in cardio. You need to know how to put it in order, and I'll show you the page in a minute. So, let's go to the defibrillator. You always do what first? 
CPR. This is not cough CPR. It's in the open. When do you do the cough CPR? Unstable VT, which there is a pulse. We got it? No. So let's go to defibrillator. Defibrillator, that is no pulse. Now, Inclex asks you a couple of questions. RNPN, whatever nurse you want to be. First of all, we're going to talk about the joules, 200, 300, and 360. You only, these are the fire. In defibrillator, the joules start in 200. You feel stronger, hotter. In cardioversion, it starts 100. Because we don't want to go kill the patient. Guys, if we give the patient too much fire, we can kill them. Hmm. So trust me, the doctor, he, people sue for that. You burn somebody. Right? So you got to make sure, the jewels. Who called the order for how many jewels? The doctor. Now, doing the jewels, doing when you give in the fire, what do you do? Stop the oxygen. Be sure no one is touching the client. Any question? And nurses with the bad weed, you got to put it in the bag because it'll burn too. Acrylic, no acrylic in the ER. You'll get fire. Fire written up. Med surge, you can wear acrylic very low with one nail polish. Red, whatever. No, you, you can wear nail polish, very short, very professional. Three, four different colors with diamonds, uh-uh. <laughs> Even they, I know North Broward took out, um, what's the white tip? What do you call them? French. No French. We, they used to, you can do French very low. No more French, North Broward. No more, you can do red. You can do brown, nice. One, one wedding ring, that's it. Watch, no micro cores, nice. Plastic watch. No nice watch, a little stud earring, hair up. Look pretty, because they know you want to look fabulous. See, they don't mind that, but you got to, no diamond. Like this, child, they'll set me up. No blue nails, okay? All right. Use paddles. Then Inclex asks you where you put the paddles. Ah, RN, they ask you this, wrong. Ready, let's go. Apply conductive pads. One paddle is placed at the third intercoastal space. The other is placed fifth intercoastal space on the left. Now, what they do, they don't give you this in word. They give you the body and drag and drop. God, don't move, Lord. So, a picture. Yes. Where do you get this? In the junk drive you purchased Miss Karen. I have questions on those. The little 500 green book, RN do question, and PN, your purple one, they got pictures where you put this. Do questions on that. Say Sayoli exhibition. So they're not going to give it to you like that. They're going to give you the picture. And you're going to use the mouse to put the stuff on. Okay? Like um, my student went last week. They said the patient was getting the enema. They didn't. They said it in words, but they gave four pictures. How you gonna position? You met you go You met. She said, Miss Sonia, they all look alike. Left. Lotharmy. They gave her all that. They say the patient is getting an animal position, and they give you the bodies, and you got to choose. You see? So that's how they give it to you. So you gotta know pictures. 
right? That's why I told you, don't go without me. Because at the end, I'm going to give you a lot of pictures. They'll go Google, YouTube, psoriasis, Lyme disease. They, don't, they, they give you the picture of the arm. What is that? Okay? Chicken pox, pinworm. What to do? Mongolian spot. When the patient has the red thing on the face. See? So there's a lot of pictures at the end. I give you, so we work together. Mongolian spot can be here, it could be here, or it could be here. Right? They give you a lot of pictures. All right? Okay. Um, so make sure you know that no one is touching the bed. Okay? Any question? Then they give you question on the AED machine. Automatic external defibrillator. This is a defibrillator that you find on bus, airplanes, airport businesses. For you to open a business, you got to have one in the facility. I lent it to one student who opened a CPR business. She never brought it back. I got a call. <laughs> I need that machine. You need to have this. This is AED. That's the one portable. It's a defibrillator, but it's portable. Portable. And you got to know the same thing, but how to use it. Any question? We cool? So the AED is not the defibrillator. I can't use, maybe. We have we AED. Yes. Two different things. Same defibrillator, but one is used, not boss, not clean. If you go out at a facility. One bigger, one smaller. And the AED is so small, it's coming to look bad. But you don't see vanis. Yes. It very, it's, oh, they updated. It got it. <laughs> You can kill patient with this. It tell you exactly what, yeah, it talks. It's wrong, it tell you. It tell you exactly how to put it on. Okay, touch this, do this, this. No, you're, it's like Siri. Siri on your iPhone. Shut up, Siri. She'll say, go to hell. <laughs> right? Any question? AED is used portable. Portable means clean. Any question? Ah, uh, AED? No, they changed it. The highest AED is 300. It used to be 360, they cut back. Because you using it in the street, there's no doctor. 360, a lot of fire, darling. Yes, 300. <coughs> Any question? We cool? Now let me tell you where to get the CPR. The CPR, you're going to go to page uh, 160. One sixty six. It's a page. It doesn't have a page on it. No, it, it's, it's 165. 165. That's memorization. I want you to, and then look on top. You see adult, child, infant. I need you to know how to do CPR on infant. I need you to know how to do CPR on children and adult. So I say memorization. Your mom go put it in order. Any question? You got it? Hamlet maneuver, all of that, I'm going to teach you that in peds. When kids swallow stuff, how to remove it. That, I'm a kid. Peds, that's where I'm going to do Hamlet maneuver. How to remove stuff. A patient is pregnant, how you do Hamlet maneuver. 
A patient is obese. How to do Hamlet maneuver? Sayo Baka, you hoy. But you cannot open piercing door without them. Any question? Okay? So that's VT. Now let's go back. I'm going to erase. So I'm going to go back on the board. Okay? So I'm going to go. So we did V fit. Now we're in dead. 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 The patient is dead, which is straight line. And let me tell you what inflex do to you. They give you two type of straight line. They give you a straight line like this, or they give you a straight line like this. <coughs> Is this dead? <laughs> Is this dead? <laughs> That's V fit. That's where they get you. Look how small it is. This is dead. A system. A me without. This is V fib and they die. Look at the little the little ziggy line. You see that? So the nursing intervention for this and this is different. But because you under stress. <laughs> yeah. Straight line. There's no pumps. So what is the first thing you're gonna do? C B R. You want this to turn into this. Once you do CPR, you give it the patient oxygen. Now it's a little this. It's still not that much pulse. Right? It's still low. You can defib. Right? CPR, defib. CPR, defib, epinephrine. CPR, defib, medication, oxygen. Foley. Right? Here. What you gonna do? Check the pulse. Check the pulse. Ah, check the pulse. Good job. You're going to assess for pulse. There's no pulse. What are you going to do? No pulse. You're going to do this. CPR, defibrillate. Suppose there is a pulse. Ah, oxygen, rest, and what? Cardioversion. Right? Cardioversion. Any question? The jewels. The cardioversion. Oh, the, the antidysrhythmic, the drugs. Epinephrine, nothing. Hey. You don't give all the drugs. The, you give any, whatever the doctor ordered. But normally, when you go in a situation like this, no epinephrine, lidocaine, big stuff, not amiodarone. Amiodarone is good, but it, they give amiodarone a lot in rehab centers because a lot of the nursing home where y'all work because the patient have stents, right? So they give them to prevent a fib. Amiodarone is not used a lot in the ER. It's cheap. Ebony and it causes respiratory problems. Amiodarone, your body is still out there, but sepa epinephrine, dubutamine, dopamine. Light of cane, or by day. Yes, ma'am. Put it in order. Yes. Now they say, yeah, but which line? The dead? Always stay with the patient. CPR. Assess. Because sometimes you do CPR, the pulse comes. 
So you got to remember, line, CPR, assess, no pulse, defibrillate. Medication. I am IV, not no damn PO. Now, same thing, V fib. You see V fib, what you gonna do? Assess. If there's a pulse, you do your O2. The patient is resting anyway, that's understood. It will fair cardio version. But if the B fib you assess there's no pulse, what's the day inside? Sonia, if you have past mental if you have any if you the patient have a pacemaker, you still gonna defibrillate, but you just not gonna put the machine the pads in this spot. Because pacemaker is normally on the left. You gonna put it on the other side. Because the fire. Ooh. Any question? C, English, you don't understand this? Go home and read it 10 times. And understand, put it in order. There's a lot of questions. Y'all do question, Lippincott, Pearson, Kixion. And the way you do question is whatever I do in class, go do question on that. Don't go do million question. Oh, somebody told me do 10,000 question a day. Don't do that. You do EKG, go do, go find all the EKG question in the world. Do that. You get it wrong, read the rationale. Don't go do question on this, that. You didn't even do it in class. Master whatever you do. Whatever I'm doing, master it. So you don't have to go back and reread read tomorrow. Master it. Okay? Don't go do no question. I'm going to do GI. <laughs> Why? Oh, I got mastery on my phone. Take mastery, put somewhere. Why you go do mastery, we're not in GI yet. Do mastery only on renal multi-skeletal. You got it? All right. Yes, all right, so let's, so we did the dead, okay? I'm going to do potassium again, because some people um, from last week probably wasn't here, whatever. Okay, okay, so we're going to leave this for potassium. So we're going to put low potassium, high potassium. Then we have MI angina. And we're going to put angina first. Angina, MI. Okay, and don't forget your normal. What the student go wrong, student don't remember the normal. Now remember, I don't want students to say, Miss Sonia, I went to Inclex, I didn't see this line. You ain't gonna see it. I put it there for you to organize it in your head. Your papa will go sound, okay? You're gonna use these little heels. These peak. Peak mean tall. Yeah, let me give you a little English. So, because students sometimes get that confused. Peak mean tall. Whoa. Flat mean low. So, if I say tall peak, that's peak P. So, the don't you, what peak mean? P, tall, flat, low. En bas, en haut. En haut, en bas. Let me de depress. Depress mean tombe. Fall. Depress mean down. 
down. Elevated me warm. I. You see, I didn't use tall. Elevation me high. I didn't put tall because I used it here. Sometimes students ask some stuff I don't know. I want to peep pee. Say war pee. War mountain. Right? So some any potassium has to do with heart. We good? Okay. Cardio. 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 If potassium has to do with cardio, muscle contractility, how's that? And where's the biggest muscle? Your heart. So, if I say potassium, high or low, you know I'm talking about something to do with what? Heart. So, when your potassium is low, your EKG, look at normal, your EKG look like this. Ready? P, tall. So I say peak, P, Q, R, S, flat. T. And there's a U wave. Your mother, what to do? So why not in collects? Potassium. So that no me te call do then. No. They have called doctor or give potassium. Guys, in collects no. Well, I hope. You know, you need a doctor order to get the potassium, but they already know you know that. So what's the answer for this? Give, give potassium or give food high in melee. Then they say, what's the nursing intervention? Put the patient rest oxygen, right? Heart monitor. Kisa munyo kamodo. Please pase sa. High potassium. Look at this. Right? Look at this and look at that. Ready? Here's your strip. P. Flat, B, flat, somebody say you win. No, 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 you win. Q, R, S, T is tall. T is tall, and no, you win. What do you give for potassium? High, high. You're going to give KX Soleil, KX Soleil, or, or insulin, right? And food that is low in what? And you're going to put the patient on heart. Yes, yes. Huh? Nitro. Oh. <clears throat> nitro, she said nitroglycerin. Student would say that too. Is there a blockage? No. You only give nitroglycerin when there's angina or blockage. C'est pas celle mais même t'as dit ça. Okay, guys. If we don't fix this, we go to MI then heart failure. If we don't go fix this, we go to MI heart failure. 
Okay? Then we go to angina. Angina means artery, anti myeloma. The artery where blood flowing in the heart is brown, right? Not blockage, brown. They call that angina. Remember, if I don't fix this, go to heart failure, I go to MI, then heart failure. If I don't fix this, <laughs> it's already MI, go to heart failure. See? So angina, your strength look just like that. My P is good. My Q is perfect. My R, I'm a move. My ST is depressed. ST is depressed. Now you give me nitroglycerin. Nitroglycerin is a vasodilator to open the artery. Because the artery is this color of the carpet. So I'm going to give you rest, O2, nitroglycerin. And when I give nitroglycerin, I'm going to check your Heart rate and your B, B. So when ST depressed, that is called ischemia. Ischemia mean ma wound. Ischemia mean sans passé. On pile sans pas passé. But get he sans passé. So the patient say, I have chest pain. Of course they're going to have chest pain because not that blood, much blood <coughs> circulate. So the patient going to say, what? I got chest pain. Then you're going to say, where's the chest pain? And they're going to say, to the shoulder. Where does it radiate? They're going to say, shoulder, chest pain. That move to shoulder. You got it. Any question? Hey, angina mean a creole. But si on this song, we eat just by the pill. English. Angina mean the patient have blood circulation, but it's not a lot. So if we don't fix it, the patient can clot. Angina can go to MI. MI go to heart failure. I, I said shoulder. <coughs> I said shoulder. Right? Am I? <laughs> now things worse. My P? P? My own weak U? R? Boy, ST? Elevated. ST elevated, that means the patient don't get no oxygen at all. The tissue is dead, not low, mui, not crotic. There's a difference between ischemia and necrotic. Necrotic means noir. Ischemia means rouge, marron. That means some blood flow. Am I? No blood flow, more. We, if we don't intervene, so we give mona, morphine, oxygen, nitroglycerin, aspirin. You mona, listen. You gonna give rest, oxygen, shh, rest, oxygen. Morphine, nitroglycerin, and then aspirin. Again, rest. Oxygen, I say ephemeria, say oxygen. Oxygen first, rest, oxygen, it be morphine now. Nitroglycerin, aspirin. Students say, Miss Sonia, why you give the morphine? Is it for chest pain? No, no. No, no. When it comes, remember, when the patient is on hospice and we give the morphine, it's because the heart is beating so fast, right? 
heart rate. So you give the morphine to slow down the heart. Remember, the tissue is dead, so there's no what? No circulation. So what is the heart rate? Very high, right? So the patient is tachycardia, hypotension. So you give the morphine to slow down the heart, right? Oxygen, morphine, nitroglycerin to open the tissue, and aspirin to keep the tissue flowing, to keep the blood flowing. Yet no permanent cure way for life. Permanent cure. Some, listen, some will show you the permanent cure. Some in the scenario you have to do permanent cure. And guys, anytime the patient had an MI, you are considered an MI patient for life. You can go to Haiti, you can go to Jamaica, you can go anywhere and do an EKG. It will show that there was you lost oxygen to that part of the heart at one time. Now, where's the pain? Left arm. So Inflex asks you, which patient are you going to see first? MI or angina? MI. 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 Ça a gêné ça. Ça a pas gêné ça, man. Le pagé ça, c'est bon. Then, this one have blood. This one have no blood. Any question? Miss Sonia. Yes. When you say no blood, the blood is crap. Oui. Just... Remember, the tissue is closed. See, tissue are dead. Blood, no circulation. So, therefore, the body is not getting no blood at all. That's why people die MI right away. They don't even make it to the hospital more. Any question? Yes. So, as I said, give me the AKG for MI. So put it in order what you do first. So you take red, oxygen, morphine, um, nitro, and acid. Yes. Any question? So, yes. For the chest pain is for the shoulder? It's for MI. No, for angina. Chest pain, radiate. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Chest, you too late there again, chest pain. When you have a pain, they put it to lay a move, radiate. The beam to shoulder, we call it say angina. Angina. The beam will not be. It ready left arm, and the patient say it feel like a truck on my chest. Any question? We cool? Who do not understand? Okay. The way you're going to do your EKG, you're going to get your little paper, and you're going to study each strip. Each strip, you're going to know what it is, what's the nursing intervention. You cannot get this license without not getting a strip. And those who win it, you know for the, their strips on it. You will not go to nobody in clicks and think you're not going to get scripts. PN, RN, whatever N you want to be. It's on there. Okay? And not all strip call the doctor. Some strip continue to monitor. Uh -huh. Okay? Any questions? All right. Great time. When we come in, that's all your EKG. When we come back, um, we're going to do acute renal failure. We're going to start on renal disease, right? We're going to start our renal disease. No pictures. <laughs>